just got done doing my, my injury report video, and I see Josh Gordon gets claimed by the Seattle Seahawks. Guys, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe, and welcome to a player profile edition of Believer's Talk, where we're going to take a look at this player, Josh Gordon, who we could have claimed off waivers, and take a look to see if he would have been the right fit for, for the for the Buffalo Bills. Before we do that, however, I want to remind everyone, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, guys, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Josh Gordon going to the Seattle Seahawks. Not only what does that do for Seattle, but what could it have done for our Buffalo Bills? Now, going into this yesterday, I talked about this during our live stream pre-gaming, the game between the Redskins and the Bills. Before that, I said that, you know, if Josh Gordon fits the personnel, if he fits the uh uh, personalities in that locker room if he is a good fit then I think that we should take a chance because this is the guy that could take a top off a of defense and maybe maybe McDermott and Bannon Bean thought that's what we have in Foster maybe they're not willing to give up on Foster yet but man this really could open things up for John Brown really could open things up for Cole Beasley I think that signing Josh Gordon knowing that we haven't gotten much out of Foster so far this season would have been a good move now going into the season uh or I'm sorry Right now, in the season, he hasn't had the greatest season at, of all. You know, he has 36 pass targets, 20 catches for 287 yards, and a touchdown. But I think we're setting the expectations for Josh Gordon just a little bit too high. Everyone remembers 2013 Josh Gordon, where he went for uh, 87 catches, 1,646 yards. But that was three suspensions ago, guys. That was a long time ago. You're talking about six seasons, which in the NFL, six seasons is a lifetime ago, especially, especially if you took a few seasons off for one reason or the other and I said yesterday you know as long as he's cleaned up his act which so far it looks like he has he would have been a good fit for Buffalo and the funny thing is I thought if the Buffalo Bills were unable to claim Josh Gordon off waivers the reason for that would not have been because we didn't want him it would have been because one of the teams who have a worse record than us who come first in the waiver order would have claimed him that did not happen here the Seattle Seahawks who now get a really good wide receiver to team up with Metcalf who I think is going to be a, a great wide receiving tandem. Let me know what you think in the comment section if you agree with that or not. But goes to Seattle, who is above us in the waiver order. So that means the Bills had a shot to claim them off waivers and just did it. Now, Josh Gordon, in his career, again, you're talking about three suspensions, two seasons where he did not play at all. You're talking about 2015, 2016, did not play a single snap due to the uh, violations of the substance abuse policy. But in his career, the guy has played in 58 games. He's been targeted 451 times, 240 receptions for 4,113 yards, 20 touchdowns. Touchdowns. Those are pretty good numbers. You're talking about over 17 yards per reception. That could really open an offense up. And let's be honest, guys, the Buffalo Bills need a wide receiver to open this offense up. And maybe, again, maybe that's what uh, GM Brandon Bean and Coach uh, Coach McDermott th said, talked about when they talked about Foster. Maybe they're not giving up on Foster quite yet. Foster is the same type of guy who could take a top off a defense. But man, I think really having Gordon as your number two, moving Beasley to a solid number three, I think that gives you a better one-two punch there. So a little confused why we don't go for this move. I uh, really think that that would maybe bolster the offense. And would it cost... Uh, very little, right? It would have been a low risk, high reward type move for the Buffalo Bills, at least in my opinion. Again, you can let me know if you disagree. I haven't seen the contract yet. They signed with Seattle Seahawks. We probably won't see that or hear about that until tomorrow. Uh, but it's still, I don't think it's going to be a big number. I don't think it's going to be a high number. That's what I mean when I say low risk, high reward. I really thought we could make this move and make it work. But I think we also get wrapped up in the nostalgia of just wanting to make a move, right? The trade deadline came and passed. The Bills really really didn't make a move there you talk about um this we have a guy off waivers that we think can help this team it comes and goes we don't get them and then you just have that nostalgia of man i wish we were pick someone up well if the gm again we talk on this channel all the time about how we trust brandon bean how we've been been trusting this process well if we do trust this process we're going to trust them to make the right move here and the right move in their mind was to not go after josh gordon was to not claim him off waivers again i feel like if we wanted josh gordon maybe we we're trying to trade for him uh because we weren't sure we were going 
going to get him in that waiver claim order. So maybe the, the Patriots put him out there for a trade. We would have traded for him uh, for maybe a 6th or 7th, and that's only if we wanted him. And apparently we didn't even want him. So the Buffalo Bills GM, Brandon Bean, they're saying that we are happy with the team we have. And that's okay by me. You know, again, this team's 5-2. and two. I know we just had a tough loss against the uh, Eagles, but we have the Redskins coming up. Let's focus on the Redskins. Let's get that win. That's all that matters at this point going week by week. So let me know in the comments section, did you want to see Josh Gordon become a Buffalo Bill? Are you okay with passing up on him and saying, no, we'll wait for the next guy. Wait to see what happens later with these wide receivers. Maybe see uh, build in the NFL draft. We've seen a lot of good teams build in the draft. Hopefully we can do the same thing here. We know we have a lot of draft capital coming up. We know how much Brandon Bean loves his draft capital. So there's going to be a lot of picks. It's going to be a lot of picks. Hopefully we can turn them into gold. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on Believers Talk for this edition as we talk about Josh Gordon and to talk about Josh Gordon being claimed off waivers by the Seattle Seahawks, not by our Buffalo Bills. As a lot of fans wanted, again, let me know in the comment section if you're okay with this or if you really want him. What would this have done to help out this Buffalo Bills offense in your eyes? Let me know in the comment section. But guys, again, I just did the injury report video that we'll be posting here shortly as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, hit that subscribe button. If you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell lots of great stuff coming at believers talk again giving you live play by play and reaction to every single buffalo bills game we team up with hashtag sports to give you the best buffalo bills content we can also believers talk teaming up with boilerstamp.com we have a lot of partnerships going on to give you guys the best buffalo bills content we can again hit that subscribe button after you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell like this video and like i said leave a comment what do you think about josh Gordon and not being a buffalo bill how does he help seattle and how do you feel he would have helped the buffalo bills or are you happy that we did not claim him off waivers again thank you for joining me i look forward to talking to you all soon until i do go bills